it was devastating to um, to be one of those people that that had something wrong with them. I was always trying to fix that problem. I've had acne since I was nine years old. Since I was uh, like 14 years old. Since sixth grade. Since the age of 12. Since my teenage years. Uh, I was in third grade. We had new or neighbors move in and um, their kids, they had about five kids from like seven to 12 and they came running outside to meet us and their eight-year-old pointed out to me, said, why is she so ugly? Why does she have those scars all over her face? Yeah, I remember one morning, I was like 12, and my mom was doing my hair for picture day, and she was just like, I don't even know why I'm putting in the effort to, to do your hair because, you know, your skin is not gonna make the picture look good. You know, they just think it's so easy to get rid of. Like, oh, you just just try this, it works. Like, just try that, it works. Like, they don't realize how hard of a condition it is. I tried everything. My family did so much for me, putting like up to like, I think $8,000. Crazy stuff. Basically, um, I recently just ordered like the TCA pill and like put it on my face, but that stuff like, really, really burns. I've tried like microdermabrasion. I use more natural remedies as well, like uh, aloe vera, salicylic acid. Proactive, clean and clear, prescription treatments. I was reading online that you could actually take your urine, <laughs> your urine in the morning and uh, put it on a cotton ball and apply it to your skin. And oddly enough, I definitely tried it only to find that it didn't work and I realized, wow, I must be super desperate. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm gonna do this. Every time you meet someone, the first thing you show is your face, so. I was constantly thinking about if someone, someone is gonna love me. I feel overdrawn. Like I can't, like I can't um, go out and, you know, be with friends and hang out. I think my self-esteem. I follow like bloggers and I see people on you know, Instagram, Twitter, everything. You just idolize, you know, this perfect looking woman. You just don't feel pretty. Like, you just feel insecure. Sometimes you feel ugly. I feel like I can't um, talk to people because, like, I feel like they're focusing on my acne. But it still makes me feel like I'm not good enough for social media, for just at school, just socially. I just feel socially awkward because of it. Because I'm an adult. Like, girls my age, we don't have, make, have harsh, you know, skin problems. I also use um, my hair to like cover up my face so no one could see it and I just feel insecure all the time. Very low self-esteem because of my acne. I always felt like I had to wear a mask when I was going out and I really didn't like making eye contact with people because it was really awkward because they were like always looking at my face. So even to this day every time I get a pimple it pops and it starts bleeding so just wiping my face after washing it with a towel and seeing blood on the towel. I grew up in a family where everyone was strong and you never wanted to show vulnerability. And it was really important to me that one day I really give the attention that I needed to my skin. So I, I'd always wanted healthy skin, I just didn't know how to do it. How many months do I supposed to keep using a product and not see any results? But then. I came across a YouTube video just in the middle of the night when you hit that really weird part of YouTube and you just don't know what you're watching anymore. And someone was talking about dealing with their acne scars and they mentioned the Banish kit. And I, it was the first time I ever heard of derma rollers. And I thought, okay, well, you know, I've tried everything else, but I might as well try this. This could be my Hail Mary. And so I went and bought a package and gave it a shot, not really expecting anything like normal. And then about two treatments in, the cystic acne stopped flaring up so badly. And then after four treatments, I wasn't getting cystic acne at all. Oh, I feel uh, more confident uh, because now it's better. Try not to look on, focus on how you look and fake it to make it, <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm definitely out of my house now, so that's nice. Yeah, you have large pores or you have some wrinkles or you're aging or you've got gray hair now and that's okay like I love you 
because of that, and I love you beyond that. Like, I have unconditional love for, for who you are. Like, you don't have to compare yourself to the model. Hi, my name is Patricia, and I am authentic, passionate, caring, fun, energetic, adventurous, determined, humble, kind. I'm smart, I'm strong, hardworking, ambitious, witty, sensitive, passionate, kind, adventurous, loyal, confident, intelligent. I'm beautiful. You know, at this point in time, I've pretty much accepted that, hey, it's improving and it's getting better. But if that's the way that it is, I just have to be confident regardless.